A huge development has occurred, and the involvement of Coinbase heightens the intrigue. To far, this is the highest total for the year. Now, billions is a pejorative term. The topic of trillions is front and center now. But what on earth is going on? Why did we have to wait a whole year for it, anyway? Okay, I'll try to clarify. Welcome to Dr. Crypto, your daily serving of Shiba. This is the spot for you if you're curious about anything related to Shiba. If you want to keep informed about all the latest news forecasts and stay ahead of the curve in the crypto industry, subscribe. To get more ship news, be sure to click the like button. Something unexpected happened today. In the crypto realm, Analytics X found something very shocking. Some very large transactions involving an astounding 4 trillion Shiba Inu tokens were spotted by the diligent on-chain data geek. Where will we end up? Coinbase, the leading US exchange, none other than it. This enormous infusion is equivalent to almost $100 million in hard money. Hold for a second, let's take a deep breath and absorb that. Here, we're discussing an astounding amount. To get a better idea, picture a pile of money so high it would make buildings seem like pebbles. In the world of cryptocurrencies, this is a monumental leap. First of all, it's rather unusual to witness such enormous sums being shifted around, particularly in the Shiba Inu domain. Market participants may experience a flurry of activity as a result of this inflow, including speculation, excitement, and maybe even restless nights for traders. But what precisely transpired just now? An astounding 4.29 trillion Shiba Inu coins allegedly found their way to the biggest US-based cryptocurrency exchange. Additionally, the fact that these tokens were dispersed across just 10 wallets adds intrigue to the situation. That was such an intense endeavor. Now things start to become interesting. Two separate periods, separated by three years, were used to collect tokens. Two rounds were caught so far this year, the first in September 2021 and the second in March. Now listen up. A few astute individuals were able to acquire these vast quantities of coins when their respective prices were about half what they are now. Today, given the current pricing of Shiba Inu, these holders stand to gain a tidy $41 million if they choose to cash out. All right, now let's pause and think about it. Yes, it may not be one of those spectacular increases that make headlines in the cryptocurrency industry, but hey, we should still give credit where credit is due. Creating tens of millions of dollars with a little investment. It's not bad at all. It's the equivalent of getting a respectable base hit in the crypto realm rather than a grand slam. Also, Monday we discussed a major Shiba Inu trade. You know, the one where Robinhood mysteriously sent 600 billion Shiba Inu tokens to an unknown wallet. It found out that Robinhood was just rearranging its own data. The Coinbase position of today, though. That's a whole other matter. Who or what put the Shiba Inu there is a mystery to us. The rumor mill, I can assure you, is cranking out rumors at an alarming rate. Many hypotheses have been proposed on its motivations and potential market effects. Everyone is attempting to figure out what's going on, like a real-life mystery book. This, however, just scratches the surface. In the event that the $100 million Shiba Inu sale pique your interest, brace yourselves for an even grander spectacle. Coinbase just saw its biggest Ethereum outflow of the year, which caused a huge upheaval in the cryptocurrency industry. More than a billion dollars is at stake. According to CryptoQuant, this huge change has everyone talking about what it may signify for Ethereum, ETH, and the market generally. So, while Shiba Inu is attracting a lot of customers to Coinbase, Ethereum is losing a lot of money. It's as if the crypto market is a seesaw, with one coin riding high and the other down. A staggering 336,000 ETH, or almost $1.17 billion, were removed from the trading platform on June 12th, according to the most recent data from CryptoQuant. Also, this isn't an isolated incident. This is really the seventh time in the year that Coinbase withdrawals have exceeded 150,000 ETH. Get this, the amounts involved in these deals have varied widely, from $400 million to an astounding $1.1 billion. Some major players are clearly making their presence known in the industry. 
These withdrawals are clearly not coming from your average Ethereum traders, given their magnitude and regularity. No, these transactions seem to be more orchestrated by large anonymous institutions or whales. Now, the ordinary retail trader just doesn't have the chops to handle deals of this size. Their tactics are more in keeping with those of powerful players with high stakes and clever market plans. Things get murky when we try to pin down just why they're making such drastic changes. Right now, all we can do is speculate. However, we may be able to deduce some indications by reviewing past market trends and events. Are you aware of the massive Bitcoin withdrawals that Coinbase experienced before to the introduction of Bitcoin spot ETFs earlier this year? Well, there are others who are pessimistic about the future of Ethereum and are hoping that the present flight from the cryptocurrency is a precursor to Ethereum spot ETS. A clue. However, at this point, it is all only informed speculation. These withdrawals might be a positive indicator for Ethereum's future if they aren't just the result of internal exchange churning. Let me explain. Taking a large quantity of Ethereum out of circulation, particularly in this way, effectively creates scarcity. Furthermore, in the realm of economics, scarcity is known to cause prices to rise. It's just the fundamentals of supply and demand, you know. That is particularly the case in the irrational and chaotic crypto realm, where market sentiment and individual emotions may cause things to fluctuate drastically. We don't yet know the specific implications of this massive Ethereum migration for the market, but in the grand scheme of things, most people regard this as a good thing. Indeed, lowering the circulating quantity of Ethereum, in addition to the possibility of new investment options like Ethereum spot ETFs, might lead to significant price increases in the future. Wait a second. However, there is an important detail that must be clarified before the Ethereum EDF becomes widely anticipated. In this case, a prominent executive in the sector is sounding rather cautious. To clarify, they are arguing that spot ether ETFs will not get the first infusion of capital as Bitcoin ETFs did. So, let me explain. Bitcoin's very simple function as a medium of exchange makes it more accessible to investors. However, Ethereum, to be honest, it's a little trickier than that. Pricing it may be more of a challenge since it is dependent on a lot of technical things, such as decentralized applications and smart contracts. The question of how to accurately value Ethereum remains unanswered, according to prominent figure in the financial sector Stephen Richardson. Ethereum exchange-traded funds, ETFs, are unlikely to see the same stampede of capital as Bitcoin ones until there is a unanimous agreement on it. However, I can tell you one bright spot. The Ethereum ETF may not have a huge impact on the market on launch, but many anticipate it will have far-reaching consequences for the cryptocurrency industry as a whole. Just look as how Shiba Inu's value skyrocketed earlier this year when the Bitcoin ETF was in vogue. In case you lost track, the price of Shiba Inu quadrupled in March of this year. There is a lot of anticipation among Shiba Inu owners who are crossing their fingers that the Ethereum ETF is a double strike. There is interesting material to think about when you get past the first day. An enlightening forecast has been made by K33 Research. They estimate that Ethereum exchange-traded funds might earn $4 billion in the first half of the year. This cryptocurrency brokerage claims to be monitoring Ethereum's market share relative to Bitcoin, which they calculate to be at 28%, and another intriguing piece of information. Open interest in Ethereum is now at around 23% of Bitcoins, according to the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. Indicates a comparable degree of market dominance in one additional large institutional market. Therefore, Ethereum EDS may see substantial inflows of capital in the future if these projections pan out. A lot of people in the crypto industry are clearly paying attention to that. However, how do you feel about that? Submit your thoughts in the space provided. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the matter. The date is over now. Remember to give it a big thumbs up. To see our most recent material, share it and subscribe to the channel.